In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Vorofrag, which is a uh, plugin that you can find on scriptspot.com. Um, it's a free plugin that's really great. It basically breaks up a geometry into these fragments, and then you can use those fragments independently as uh, detached objects. And there's some tutorials on there as well. Um, basically, you have to download this um, free script and then put it into your standard plugins folder under Autodesk 3ds Max um, and then it will show up as a modifier within 3ds Max. So um, first you'll need an object to use this so I'm just going to make a quick uh, box here and then I'll just add a FFD modifier under my modifier list. Let's do a 3x3x3 three by three by three. and then uh, just to quickly get some form to this thing I'll just move around some of these points make it a little more complex Okay, and then once I have a slightly complex geometry, I'll add a uh, turbo smooth to give it a little more subdivision. And there's you could build any kind of uh, solid geometry you want. So you could create, um, you know, with lines and a surface and a shell modifier, you could create a solid geometry, or you could, um, you know, manipulate this into any other form you want, or use some other kind of solid form that you create. Um, okay, so then once you have your geometry. You just need to make sure it's closed so it's not an open mesh. Uh, so if there are any holes you need to cap them or create polygons to make it a solid form. Um, and then you can go to your modifier list and add the Voro frag. If you put it in the right folder it'll show up as a modifier here in your modifier list. So you add the Voro frag modifier. Um, and there are a few settings you can change here. You could generate your own custom particles which it'll use to subdivide this geometry or you could just use the standard ones and change the chunk amount. I'm going to go with let's say 20. Um, you can see it's starting to subdivide. You can change the seed if you want. So if you change the seed here it'll you know change the um, distribution of those objects. So if you're not quite happy with the, the default one you can sort of change the seed. Um, you can also change the gap width. So if you want a gap between these fragments you can do that. So if I go you know, for two for example it adds a gap between each fragment. Um, you can also have it select interfaces or outer faces. You could detach them all into separate geometries. Or if you had an edit poly modifier, you could just go into the element and start, you know, deleting some of these if you wanted a you know, slightly different kind of uh, form where you start to expose some of the interior. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, you can, again, uh, fragment any kind of solid geometry and you could create them um, as detached pieces where they're all individual pieces or you could just add an edit poly and, and delete elements.